Hello my dear technocrats and polytechnic lecturers job aspirants. Welcome to Spacegate Engineering Academy. Now we have come up with a EDC online test series for polytechnic lecturers exclusively. Guys when we see the previous marks history from EDC subject you will get around 12 to 15 marks. Remember guys for you EDC and analog circuits are different they are two subjects for others like instrumentation guys and triple E for them it is only one in fact it is only half because guys for them it is analog electronics and digital electronics. Hello my dear technocrats and polytechnic lecturers job aspirants welcome to Spacegate Engineering Academy. Now we have come up with a EDC online test series for polytechnic lecturers exclusively. Guys when we see the previous marks history from EDC subject you will get around 12 to 15 marks. Remember guys for you EDC and analog circuits are different they are two subjects for others like instrumentation guys and triple E for them it is only one in fact it is only half because guys for them it is analog electronics and digital electronics one subject but for you it is three subjects EDC analog electronics digital electronics so compare with others you need to focus very much on EDC electronic devices and circuits there are good number of questions you might get in polytechnic lectures exam no doubt remember guys that is the reason we want to focus more on EDC hence the next online test series is none other than EDC electronic devices and circuits guys here we know as per our video lectures and everything the entire EDC subject we can divide into 5 units where we covered each and every topic in detail. Yes and those units are introduction to semiconductor physics, PN junction diode cat sticks, BJT cat sticks, FET and MOSFET cat sticks and special purpose diodes. Guys as I told you back the EDC maximum you will get 15 marks no doubt about that remember the minimum could be maybe 12 marks. Why guys when you verify the previous gate papers or any ESC papers even all other ISRO DRDO especially ISRO when you verify the questions you are getting some good number of questions from EDC only not uh, analog remember if I say it is a diode it is not like rectifier clipper clamper no no diode cat sticks means diode switching times diode current equation how the temperature effect on V A cat sticks diode capacitances diode resistances all these comes under diode cat sticks. So remember EDC is different analog is different remember now coming to our online test series guys here we start the EDC first unit which is an introduction to semiconductor physics from Monday onward that means tomorrow that is 20th March 2023 guys here when you see the introduction to semiconductor physics especially it covers on the basics of semiconductor physics like what are semiconductors, what are the types of semiconductors, intrinsic, extrinsic semiconductors, p-type, n-type semiconductors and what is meant by drift current, diffusion current, what is continuity equation means how the concentration changes with respect to the distance, with respect to the time, what is meant by Hall effect, all these things, the theoretical fundamentals behind the diode that means extrinsic semiconductors p type n type and all you will get in 
unit 1. Guys, when you verify all the previous papers based on that history, just we can tell maximum you will get 4 marks around the 12 out of like uh, 15 out of like uh, around 50, 12 to 15 marks. You will get nearly 4 marks damn sure guys remember. So, for that guys we have 46 videos in a clear way ex like including the video lectures, questions and all is not it? Yes, you can verify guys 46 videos are there yes. So, guys here be ready on 20, 20th March from evening, evening 6 o'clock to morning 8 o'clock there is a like a session online exam where you can have you can write in that day in that times definitely whenever you feel comfortable take a test guys remember if there is no test there is no growth in our life obviously if there is a test you can take the notes and you can verify if there is no test you do not refer that and you keep on procrastinating postponing remember. So, guys take sincere sincerely the test and you see where you are what to do all these things guys got it now afterwards guys after taking one day gap we will come up with PN junction diode cat sticks and guys there are 39 videos and the marks according to that unit nearly 2 marks guys guys do not think sir only 2 marks one mark is enough to change your fate yes one mark is enough hope you know more than me as a job aspirant now guys in pn junction diode cat sticks we mainly focus on how a diode works in no bias forward bias reverse bias and guys here we concentrate on the diode current equation what is that what is that guys i is equals to i naught into e power v by eta vt minus 1 what is vt what is eta what is i naught what is v how the i naught changes with respect to the area with respect to the temperature all these things you must know in a clear way remember so guys here once that uh, i naught is done diode current equation then we will enter into diode switching times and diode capacitances also like a depletion capacitance, transition capacitance, I mean diffusion capacitance, even diode resistance, static resistance, dynamic resistance all these things will have in PN junction diode cat sticks got it? Now we have PN junction diode cat sticks exam on 22nd March 2023 guys it is around 2 marks guys we know very well what is BJT what is a transistor 2 diodes connected in back to back fashion. So, if you know very well about semiconductor physics and p injection diode card sticks then BJT is very easy guys the next unit is BJT only in this BJT we discuss we mainly focus on cat sticks that means BJT introduction like how many terminals are there how many regions are there emitter is heavily doped or not why base is lightly doped why collector is moderately doped or mediumly doped what about their physical dimensions like emitter width is more or collector width is more or base width is more why why base width is minimum and all what is diffusion length all these things we will discuss on p injection diode like uh, bjt cat 6 only once that is done guys we discuss transistor collector current equation ic is equals alpha e plus ic naught again we like uh, there are topics related to alpha beta gamma what is alpha what is beta what is gamma and what is the relation between them like relation between alpha beta gamma Guys remember from EDC subject especially in transistors you will get the questions from alpha, beta, gamma remember that is very important. Once that is done what are the various leakage currents in a transistor? 
what are the various breakdown voltages in a transistor what is bvc bo what is bvc evo which one is larger why and finally early effect guys what is meant by early effect by increasing the vcb the collector junction depletion layer width increases so that effective base width reduces hence we will get more current because of less number of recombinations that is what early effect what is early effect what is the consequences and all we discuss on early effect even that is also very important guys effective base width modulation guys remember whatever we have studied you have studied in EDC subject will help you to deal analog very well in analog you must know EDC otherwise you feel somewhat difficult in analog so guys here the BJT CAT 6 exam on 24th March 2013 23 guys and yes from BJT CAT 6 you can expect 2 marks guys remember the BJT CAT sticks whatever the 2 marks forget about the marks it is about the knowledge guys here the BJT CAT sticks content will help you to understand the analog concepts because BJT amplifier you want like you want to understand BJT amplifiers are biasing thermal runaway saturation region cutoff region active region you must know about BJT CAT 6 right so don't like look for the marks look for the excellency so that marks will come with you don't worry okay so guys once the BJT is done we understand there are some disadvantages in BJTs like less input resistance in BJT thermal runaway is present because BJT is a NTC device why BJT is not preferred in VLSI circuits what is the reason and all with those disadvantages we understand there is a new device called FET and MOSFET guys remember in this entire EDC subject the bigger units are the Bahubali units are none other than introduction to semiconductor physics FET and MOSFET CAT sticks you learn more about EDC in introduction to semiconductor physics in FET and MOSFET CAT sticks guys so I can say that among all unit 4 is the bigger unit biggest unit in fact so in FET like FET operation is very important to understand MOSFET and guys what is the transconductance of FET like whether thermal runaway is present or not is it a PTC device or not is it a symmetrical device or not is it a voltage control device or not all the theoretical aspects are very important once that is done you will go to MOSFETs where the basic principle is mass capacitor what is accumulation mode depletion mode inversion mode what is flat band diagram what is flat band voltage what is threshold voltage body effect threshold voltage, like a CLM channel length modulation all these things we have to discuss you need to understand in MOSFET CAT sticks remember you need to learn a lot in MOSFETs because guys when you see all the recent examinations like ISRO exam and even AE, AWE exam in these exams mainly they focus on MOSFET also there are good number of questions from MOSFET as well so guys my personal advice to you is in EDC please concentrate more on MOSFET ok so guys as I said it is a bigger unit I want to give more time to you hence after 24 take 3 days 25, 26, 27 and then you can write exam on 28th guys and yes there are good number of marks you can expect that is none other than 4 marks ok minimum you can get 4 marks from MOSFETs unit remember once that is done guys here unit 5 we mainly focus on special purpose diodes what are special purpose diodes guys obviously here they are like uh, xenodiode tunnel diode photodiode 
solar cell, light emitting diode and all. Guys, in unit 2, it is only about p injection diode cast 6 remember. We are not giving the questions from the topics present in special purpose diodes. Unit 2 is exclusively p injection diode cast 6. That is it. And guys, in unit 5, we mainly focus on all the special purpose diodes. Like uh, we will ask you what is the basic principle of LED, electroluminescence, in which bias the photodiode is connected always, reverse bias, what is the basic principle of solar cell, photovoltaic effect, what is the basic principle of photodiode, photoconductive effect, what is the basic principle of tunnel diode, tunneling effect, in which diode negative resistance region is present, tunnel diode. Like these questions you will get in special purpose diodes and you need to be very careful in unit 5 because guys most of the guys, most of the people, most of the job aspirants they do not even care about special purpose diodes. They concentrate on up amps, BJTs, amplifiers, biasing all these things. But very few people know about special purpose diodes. I want you to be in that list. Very few people said right, in this few people you must be there and you must concentrate on special purpose diodes, remember guys, ok. So guys and this like special purpose diodes, you can expect the questions around 2 to 3 marks and yes that exam is going to be held on 30th March 2023, by March you need to finish EDC, EDC over, come on analog where are you, please come. You need to be in that state, remember. Okay. So guys, here this is the preparation strategy and online test series schedule for you, for polytechnic lecturers, job aspirant. Okay guys, so there is no much time for you. Please do not waste your time. Remember the only one thing that is you cannot recycle, it is none other than time only. Okay. So guys, take it seriously and give your best towards your dream job. Got it? So guys, this is about EDC online test series and we will come up with a new video soon. This is Shuram signing off. Jai Hind.